welcome back to another video. My name is Rachel if you're new here and today I'm giving you guys my room tour. This is kind of a bittersweet moment. I am so excited to be finally showing you my final room but the reason why I'm filming this video today is because we actually move house in about three days and I need to start packing but I didn't want to start packing and taking things off the wall and putting things in boxes until I got to show you guys what my final room looked like. This is probably one of my favorite rooms I've ever had. It's actually my fourth room tour I think that will be on my channel so I'll link all my older ones down below if you want to check the others out. It's a very different style than all of the other bedrooms that I've had but I adore it. And if you guys are unaware of my living situation, I live with my best friend. We live in this little two bedroom house. It's almost like a cottage. It's so cute and we've only been in here for six months but we do have to move because the owners of this house that we are renting from want to move back in and I get it it's a cute house but it is really sad that we have to leave so make sure you subscribe if you're new here because I will be posting moving vlogs soon and you can see our new house and how I decorate my new bedroom. I do want to give a disclaimer I say this in all of my room tours but almost everything from my room is either from Ikea Kmart, Target, or it's thrifted. So you're gonna hear those words a lot, but I have to say those words a lot so you guys know where things are from because otherwise I'll get a million questions. But in saying that, everything in my room is so affordable. So if you're looking for a cute way to decorate on a budget, hopefully this will help you out a little bit. But without further ado, let me show you guys my room tour. So this is the door to my bedroom. But this is what you see when you first walk in. I'll give you guys a little bit of a pan of the whole room before I go in depth. So if you're standing in the doorway, we have a little plant and this to the left. You can see my open wardrobe. Then we head across to my bed and my basket wall. And then if you keep going around, you come to my dresser and back to my doorway. I am super blessed to have quite a large room. So I live in a two bedroom house and I live with my best friend and both rooms are almost exactly the same. So we don't have a master bedroom and another bedroom. It's just they're both the same pretty much. But now let me give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth tour. So right next to the door that I was just standing in, we have this little corner. This is where I sit and read my Bible every morning. I love sitting here. It's probably one of my favorite parts of my room. The chair and the side table are both from Kmart. Then I have my little palm in a basket from Target and then above that I have a little mini Polaroid wall and I also have a little hat hanging on a hook there and then under the chair I keep a little cardboard box with a bunch of my books and my Bible in there so I can just pull it out really easy in the mornings. I actually keep a bunch of blankets behind there as well so it's super super cozy and then on the little table I have a little cup which just holds bobby pins and hair ties from T2 and a thrifted vase with some dried baby's breath which are my favorite flowers. And this little section is actually a part of my built-in open wardrobe. So there are no doors, no curtains, nothing covering this section. And I have a love-hate relationship with this. I love the size of my open wardrobe. It is so great and I am blessed to have a huge wardrobe like this but in saying that it does make my whole room look a lot more cluttered than it actually is and if I had this hidden it would probably make my room look a lot more minimal and neat than it does right now and that's okay since we're moving there's no point actually covering it up but if we were staying here longer I probably would have gotten curtains or something to cover this section but here is my wardrobe I have semi color coordinated it this section here holds all of my shirts my skirts and my dresses and then right below Below that I have all of my shoes. Both of these shoe shelves are from Kmart. One of them just holds my sneakers and the other one just holds more of my flats and sandals and things like that. As you can tell, I love my shoes. All of my heels I kept away in a little storage box just because I don't reach for them that often but these are the things that I kind of wear on a more daily basis. And then moving across here I have a little hanging shelf situation. The hanging shelf is from Ikea. It's very handy but kind of ugly. And here I just hold all of my hoodies and crewnecks. So at the top I have my my light colored hoodies, then I have my grays, and then my dark colors. This little plastic storage box holds just a bunch of random stuff. So I have some robes in there, some scarves, just those random bits and pieces. Under that I have my fluffy socks, and then under that I have all of my belts. Below the hanging shelves I have this little basket which I use for my dirty clothes, and then next to that I have another little plastic storage crate just full of extra coat hangers. And in the very corner of my wardrobe I have all of my jackets, so denim jackets, fluffy jackets, corduroy jackets, anything like that. And I also have all of my occasion dresses here, like if I have a formal or a ball to go to. So if anyone needs a plus one, let me know. Just kidding, we all know how that turned out last time. I'm not having a mental breakdown. What if they all look terrible? Yes, you do want to go, it's gonna be so, so fun. 
but above my built-in wardrobe, I actually have these two shelves, which run from wall to wall, and I love these shelves. As you can see, my love for plants is um, on display here. The plants at the very top shelf are fake because it's just too hard to be able to get up and water them, but the ones on the bottom shelf are all real. They're all pothis, different types of pothis. As for the decor that I have on the shelves, the baskets on the top here are from Kmart. I have a couple little decor pieces that were gifts, and then in the corner here, I have a little cardboard box, a little fake cactus, and a little thrifted bag. And below that I have obviously a plant. These little baskets are from TK Maxx. I have my beautiful long pothis here and then I have a thrifted basket with a plant in it along with some photo frames and a little thrifted vase. So nothing too crazy but I love how this looks. Moving across we have my full length mirror. This is freestanding and it's from Kmart. I've had it in my last two rooms. It's like $40. I'm pretty sure they still sell the same one or at least one very very similar and I love it. It's very cheap, very inexpensive and you can tell it's cheap but it does the job. And then next to it I actually have a little thrifted basket which I just flipped upside down to make it into a little table, another little basket tray that I found from in the op shop, and then a little satanthi, which I adore. Pot is from Kmart. That area leads us straight onto my bed. The frame is from Ikea. Most of the pillows are from Kmart, except for the back left one, which is from Spotlight. And then I have two throw blankets. One is thrifted and one is from Kmart. On my windowsill, I actually have this little elephant as well. It's called a forget-me-not elephant and they come in little sets of two. So when I moved away from home, I gave one to my mom and I kept one for myself and we both keep them beside our beds. It's super cringy and super cheesy, but she's my best friend and I miss her all the time. And so we both have that and it's just kind of cute. Very cringy. I know. I actually have a lot of storage under my bed. So I have a little plastic container that just has makeup wipes and tissues and my charging station and all of that sort of stuff. In this little rolling container, I have all of my gift wrapping stuff. So gift paper and anything to go along with that, like ribbons and gift bags, whatever else there may be. Next to that, I have a bunch of active wear. So this is all my leggings and shorts. All of my tops and sports bras are in one of the drawers in my dresser. But I have to wear black leggings to work, like it's part of my uniform, so I have just a bunch of them there. And it's really easy in the morning when you wake up at 4 a.m. to just grab something and go. And in the final one, we just have all of my pajamas, which again, is just really easy to grab before bed. And it keeps them hidden away very nicely. I had them under my throw blankets and no one can even see them. Above my bed, I also have this basket wall. All of the baskets here are thrifted. I'm sorry you've heard that a billion times. Except for the two little tiny ones which are here and here. And those ones are both from Target and they're actually coasters. Fun fact. But I love how this looks and I've actually just stuck them up with blue tack. They do fall down sometimes so I don't know if that's the best way to secure them. But when you're renting that's the easiest way. Moving on from my bed I have my little side table from Kmart. The lamp is from Target and the little wooden bowl is thrifted. I just put my jewelry in it when I take it off at the end of the day. And then and above that, I have another little windowsill. The lighting is going to be a bit funny right now. But I just have a little propagation station with some pothis just hanging out, growing some roots, and all of the containers that they're in are either just food jars that I've cleaned out or they're thrifted. To the right of that, I have three little baskets, which I found at an op shop. You can tell I love baskets, and you can tell that I love thrifting. And then we come to my dresser. This is actually two separate sets of drawers from Ikea that I've just put next to each other. I think it was actually cheaper to do it this way and it also gives me options that if I ever want to move this room around, I can separate them if I want to. But if you are interested in getting something like this, they do have one at Ikea that is actually just one unit. You don't actually have to buy two separate ones and put them together. It just works out really well for me. The mirror above it is also from Ikea and then I have some little Polaroids on the wall there. On this little side, I have a plant with a pot from Kmart. This photo frame is from TK Maxx and this is from an op shop. And on the opposite side, I just have my perfumes and a little basket from Kmart. The top drawer here has all of my bras, undies, all that sort of stuff. In the next drawer down, I have all of my workout tops on this side and all of my sports bras on this side. And in the bottom drawer, I have all of my jeans and pants and a few extra sweaters that couldn't fit in the other drawer. Over on the other side, in the top drawer, I have all of my t-shirts, just like comfy tees that I can just chuck on. In the second drawer, I have all of my shorts. And in the bottom drawer, I have all of my sweaters. Love me some sweaters. But to the right of that, we're actually back at the door of my bedroom. So that is the end of my bedroom tour. And that's it. That is the final room. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this room tour. Like I said, if you want to see any of my past bedrooms, which are quite a different style than this one, the links will be down below. And if you guys want to see my new room and how I decorate that, make sure to subscribe because I'll be taking you guys along the journey while I decorate the new place that we move into. If I forgot to mention where something is from and you want to know, or if you have any other questions about my bedroom, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you. But other than that, 
I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.